this if reposted. Today we talk about this blog that I came across, personal branding blog, and it talks about the advantages and disadvantages of teamwork versus going it alone. I thought about this because of the recent success of the short on GameStop that shows like strength in numbers. And then we've been talking on another podcast about James Harden, aka Honeybun, and he's moved to a different team. And it's like, is it going to work better? He's been an individual player. And so I just think it's interesting. What do you think is better? Do you prefer to work as a group or do you prefer just to crank something out on your own? Right. And it, this article you sent me, there's pros and cons to both, right? I mean, right. if you are by yourself, you can work at your own pace and kind of do your own thing. If you have a partner or a team, you get to bounce ideas off each other. My question back is what person has operated on their own? Like for instance, like Steve Jobs, he didn't operate on his own. Most people don't work in a vacuum. They, they operate. I don't know who maybe Alexander Graham Bell is like the only person like inventors who works on their own. I feel like coders do. I feel coders. like Zuckerberg came up with Facebook on his own and it's yeah. grown into whatever it is because you plug in. I, I think I've told this story before, but I used to work with this girl um, and I had an organic chemistry class with her and she went to three classes and it was the two tests in the final and she got 100% <laughs> on all of them. She read the book on her own. I am by far better with teamwork. I don't, I don't like grinding it out on my own. I think if I say I'm going to do it by myself, it's because I don't want to deal with the team, but I prefer the teamwork. Uh, the, the adage teamwork is God's leads to God's dream work is what works out. But I mean, there are advantages and disadvantages. So it would be really hard to, to, I, I'm not, I'm certainly more of a teamwork person than an individual person because I kind of need people to bounce ideas off. Like I need a little bit of bumper pool. And I think that's what uh, perspective people bring to a team as opposed to just having the confidence on your own to be like, I'm making the right decision and I'm not telling anybody. Yeah. You can't be challenged. I, I think of, um, the the last indiana jones like those he probably had so much trouble getting those and people challenging your ideas creatively you can just look at movies that go further down the road like just to get the first indiana jones made you have had people being like oh well this is not a good idea and so you have to adapt but once you're already an established writer or director you you're surrounded by yes men and you're not challenged creatively and so you're going to get I would argue a worse product. I think being challenged is is an important part of the process. Yeah, that's interesting. You bring up like artistic endeavors because those are so subjective. That would be a hard teamwork endeavor to get into, like writing a movie. Right, everybody wants their hand in the cookie jar, right. or even an artist, a painting, whatever it is. Like it's the those directors that writer directors that do those movies together. I always think, wow, that's amazing. They can do that. Yeah, well, and you hear every single comedian that ever produced a TV show being like, executives, you're not funny. Stop trying to earn your keep. Or also, even in construction, uh, people start, when I worked in the commercial construction world, people historically don't trust contractors. And so maybe in the mid 90s or early 2000s, this construction manager role got invented. And it's basically a consultant. And everyone knows some version of a consultant that that always wants to say something during a meeting because they want to validate who they are. Um, I think we're kind of getting off the topic of, of, uh, of working in teams, but like being challenged by people makes it better. Yeah. I really enjoyed this because it made me think of people. Once again, I mentioned Steve jobs. I've had lots of people who work at Apple that were on the executive committee. He basically let the team do the work and he was just the sort of big picture driving force. I was thinking about even in like radio, um, uh, Howard Stern. Howard Stern has always been a team. It's never, it's the Howard Stern show, but he always had Robin. He always had a group of producers. The only one that I can think of is like Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh is truly on his own. There's nobody else. You call Mr. Snurdly, maybe, but like he's one of the only people that I get. Well, Michael Savage, there's some others. Alex, but, Alex Jones. Alex Jones. I guess, I guess, yeah, maybe I'm wrong, but, but I just like one of the arguably the biggest person on radio, right? Um, uh, Howard Stern had a team. Well, I mean, if you think about this show, we would probably be more successful if we had a team. Like we each bring a strength to this show. And if we had people doing X, Y, and Z, we've been yeah. talking about marketing recently. If we had a marketing person that could focus on that, we wouldn't be using bandwidth. So 
at some point there's a breaking point where the monetization or like some version of whatever your organization is doesn't need more people but i think for the most part more is more when you're a small team and also too like every single person you add is not like just add it's like multiplying the complexity of whatever it is by a thousand right because people have emotions and ideas and it's definitely a balancing act and i like this idea of there are some things you could do well alone and there are some things you could not do as well alone and then vice versa for teams well i i think a perfect example is uh your marriage and i oh. guess my engagement uh, oh. I, I get a lot more done like where were you doing this house <laughs> and nicole does so much very specifically well that i don't like doing and i do things that she doesn't like doing and you always talk about karen does this and i do this like it's you're a stronger person because you have a teammate can i but i would just can i push back on your i just feel like <laughs> can you're I push back on my wife being a good teammate no i just feel like you're such a doer to begin with like it's funny to hear you say that you couldn't just do everything yourself just as well as so i guess you're growing right before my eyes you're becoming a flower opening up yeah, I mean, I, I have a direct comparison. I did the construction of my uh, apartment in San Francisco and I'm doing this and there was stuff that got put off for a mm -hmm. long time and Nicole picks up where I, I, I leave off sometimes. So all that to say, I, I think the individual work doesn't, is not, is not the way to go for me, but know who you are, know what your strengths are. And some people work better alone. Just understand how that applies to you. I needed you to fulfill me personally. So I'm so thankful that I have you as a team member. Thanks. Well, if you want to hear why Karen sucks, please reach out. <laughs> Find us at Reposted Podcast on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I'm Andrew Keller for Honey Bun saying thanks for stopping by.